Okay, what I want to do today in this video is give you a brief overview of what we call the endocrine system. And in particular, I'm going to give this in relationship to humans. What the endocrine system is, is really it's a series of anatomical structures called glands. And what these glands do is they're going to secrete, uh, let me get this right here, secrete chemicals called hormones. What these hormones are, are their chemical messengers. And what these chemical messengers do is they are carried throughout the blood system, or what we call the circulatory system. And what they'll do there is they are going to act or cause changes on what we call target tissues. Uh, and those may be cells also. And how they're going to do this is they're going to specifically do this through what we call receptors. And so these receptors are proteins. And these proteins either reside on the cell membrane or they may reside in the cytoplasm of the cell. And this is important because if the hormone is a protein-based hormone, that means the hormone itself, the chemical, is made up of proteins or a sequence of amino acids, then it is unable to go through the membrane of a cell. So it will typically bind to a receptor right here that resides on the cell membrane. And then it's going to cause a series of events that the cell will react to. However, if the hormone is what we call a steroid-based hormone, we will see that they can typically, because they were derived from cholesterol, which is a lipid, move right through the cell membrane, and then they'll typically bind to a cytoplasmic receptor, which is also a protein, and then it will cause the reaction or the changes to occur within the cell. Okay, what's nice about the endocrine system is because we got these structures called receptors, it allows the target tissue to respond to the release of the hormone. So this is nice. So then it can do what it's supposed to do. What's also interesting that if tissues do not, and, and what I'm saying here is do not have receptors, they, of course, will not respond to the hormone. So this is cool. So this allows hormones, in many cases, to have very specific actions. So only the tissue that has a receptor for that particular hormone can respond to it. Now, this is important for a couple reasons. Because with a lot of these, we like to look at disease or what happens when it doesn't work right. So what you can see is a result or maybe a lack of result, maybe I'm going to put here, due to lack of hormone or lack of receptor. So what's interesting, if you think about this for a while, is let's say you're diabetic. At one level, you can be, and, and let's theorize that you can't respond to insulin. And the idea there is either you do not release insulin, or maybe you don't have the receptors for insulin. So both of those may give the same result. And, and that's what's important to think of when you look at these hormone systems. Because the body can respond by either producing more hormones for a particular action to occur, or maybe it will change the number of receptors to change how it responds to the hormones. All right, so what I want to just do in this video is just give you that brief overview of what we're looking at. So if we go back here, we got an endocrine system uh, made up of glands. We're going to secrete chemicals called hormones. These are going to go into our blood system or our circulatory system. And coursing through your blood, it will act on what we call target tissues. And it will only do that if the target tissue has receptors for it. 